Ooh, that's a nice one right there. Come on up here, big boy. Ah. That is called a North Carolina quick release. When the fish falls off the hook and falls in the boat, North Carolina quick release. If he falls off before he gets in the boat, California quick release. Ah, boom. There he is. It's a good one for the pot. Old sub, he couldn't stand that sub. So let's take a look at this sub. Uh, today, they've been liking this, this color right here. I came over here to this dock. Uh, we caught some fish here last week. And uh, we're gonna fish this sub around here. A little quieter. Sun's done come out and them, them wake boats is over there in the middle of the lake, man. You can't, it's impossible. You know, any of you guys experience them wake boats? Man, they, they rough. Anyway, let's look at these colors of these subs. There's the sub in the banana pepper color. We're gonna try that here just a little bit. And of course we got some blues. That's the shoreline. No, this is just straight chartreuse. Chartreuse, blues. Of course, Grenada bug. We'll probably try that in this color water. You can see the color water. It's got a lot of stain to a Grenada bug. That's a good color in the Grenada bug. And then we got several different colors of blues in here. We may try that. I think we got a buster in there. But anyway, let's pull one of these uh, Grenada bugs out. Crappy Connection was just talking about, I think it was last week's episode, about downsizing. That's that sub there. I'll try to hold it still. Maybe it's pretty good. That's a Grenada bug color. Beautiful color. See, it has a paddle tail in it. And it is a smaller bait. I think it's an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. You can lay it there on my finger and see. Each length is about an inch and an eighth long. So small bait. This time of year, a lot of bait fish are small. You got all kinds of aquatic bugs. Uh, hatching, laying eggs, swimming around in the water. It's important when if you're downsizing you have to downsize your hook size now that there is I think a 132nd and a number six hook you're gonna downsize your baits so you've got to downsize your hook size eight six you might get away with a four that four be a little bit big on this but anyway let's ease up here and catch another fish y'all little now there was a big fish and there was a little fish over there and the little fish beat the big fish to the bait ain't that always the case sucker how about now he thumped that, boy, good gracious. Don't you just love it when they thump it? I mean, thump it and he got off. He was a good fish. He was a good fish. He shook that hook. Well, got him out. Man, man. They swatting at the lure. Ain't getting a good hook set in him. Hey, we'll keep him. He's 10 and 3 eighths. Yeah, 10 and 3 eighths. We'll keep him, put him in the pot. Get up here. All right, there's one for the pot. Now I switched to, I switched to meal time. You know what meal time says? Y'all come on, get it now. Meal time. That's what it's called, meal time. I'm 
gonna show you some settings. This uh been doctoring on my spot lock, I'm trying to soften it up. I got a video I'm gonna put out. Settings on the video that will help you guys. And uh I've been kind of struggling with mine. It's been doing some crazy stuff. And uh you know, sometimes it weaves wet, real wide, but I've changed some settings on here and it's actually helped. And I'm gonna share that with you in a video coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Yes, sir. There he is. Oh yeah. Got that rascal. It's on the small side. Yeah, we'll turn him loose. He liked that meal time. I think we finally found a color that they uh, they would react to really well at meal time. Just a small fry. Turn him back. We'll see him this fall, right? Another small one. small one. He's a keeper here. It's eight inches on the keeper. I'm trying to stay on that 10 inch mark. He's probably nine and nine and five eighths. Oh, there we go. He'll probably make the 10 inch mark. Ah, uh, boom. So I changed my tactics just a little bit. I still fish in meal time. Changed my tactics a little bit and I went to a vertical jig presentation. And, uh, you know, just trying different methods. There's several different ways you can fix this uh, sub minnow. Put him in the pot. You know, I had a split shot on this earlier. This is a 16th and it was sinking too fast. So a lot of these crappy are not that deep and the lure was sinking. That's a nice thing about a split shot you can take on and off your line. I suggest that you get, you can just bite it, open it up. If it's too heavy, switch it out. If you got it, I usually keep one laying right up here in front of the boat. If I happen to stop, check a place where there's re it's really deep water and I need to get that bait on down there, say, you know, if it's, uh, you know, 15 plus, 15 to 20 feet of water, Take that split shot, put it on there, squeeze it with my pliers. Boom, I'm fishing. I move back in these coves. It's 10 foot right here. Move back here, I can clip it, take it off, and still fish the same lure without having to change. All right, so we came in, and the wind was blowing in the wrong direction. So we are going to turn around, and we are going to switch. Turn the boat around, the wind's blowing into the cove. Uh, never fails, to have always come in to the cove the wrong way. When I came in, I saw the ripples coming out of the cove. I thought the wind was blowing that way, but after I made like the second cast, it was blowing the wrong way. Okay, so in this particular slip right here, the dock owner has lowered his boat lift down into the water low and put buoys on each side to prevent you from actually casting down the side. So I'm going to take this 10 foot ACC crappy stick and I'm going to vertical present, present a bait right down the edge of this dock. Just like that. Ooh, get up. Whoa. Yeah. Come up here, buddy. He got it on the fall. You know how I know? He's hung in the bottom lip. He went down and bit the lure. Anytime you're hanging fish in the bottom of the lure, they're going down to bite that lure. I think he'll make the grade, y'all. Look here. I'm gonna give y'all a, uh, I'm gonna give, 
This is bird's eye view right here. This is like sitting on my shoulder, right? Okay, so we look with the live scope and out about six feet right there, we, uh, we see some fish. Oh, good right. We done broke my raw. We got excited, jerking, carrying on. lower down in there again all right see I can lower the tip of this rod down in the water see how see how low good gracious the world that boy got over there. but no just snatch him up out of that that's what I'm talking about that little sub is working on him I gotta fix it that little subs working on him and uh I gotta fix it another 10 inch fish y'all So, you know, it really makes no difference uh, to me. Some people prefer just fishing docks. A lot of people hate docks. A lot of people don't have opportunities to fish docks. I'll catch them open water, points, structure. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna ease back up here again, watch this. Now, since I'm limited on clearance, let me show you the tip of the rod. So that right there is about 36 inches. So I can hold this rod back here, lower the tip down in the water. And look, I can lower this, look, I can let this tip, I can stick this thing on down in the water. It don't matter to me. Hey guys, we're getting ready to end this video. All in all, it's been a pretty good day. The sub caught a lot of fish today. Caught a lot of small fish. I just don't put them on the camera, but caught some good keepers. Uh, we probably got 10, 12, maybe 14, over 10 inches in the live well. Uh, a lot of bass activity today. When I see an increase in bass activity, I see the crappy bites slow just a little bit. And anyway, uh, the mealtime sub was the best bite all day. And this, uh, we fished some muddy water. This is semi, it's got a little stain to it. But anyway, you remember God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It is free. Click the like button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life. And I'll see you on the water.